the truth, look, it's the truth, look, it's the truth, look, kind of love, it's the truth, look, it's the truth, look, it's the truth. Whenever I think about Pink Diamond in this episode, when it comes to Viapar mentioning her and her powers when it comes to her fits, and every time I look at Steven throwing the same fits as her, I'm really getting the impression that Steven was bound to have tantrums after thinking about these episodes for quite some time. I didn't thought about that since that my main goal of binge watching the series the first time was to be in preparation of watching someone else's critique of the show along with the epilogue which is misanthropy slash Zaymachenta that was also one of the factors that got me into this show but with years gone past my own perspective is what really matters when it comes to this episode and with the details centering around Pink Diamond along with Viper, which is Pink Paw, this episode is a lot more different the more I think about it. Steven tries to fix the injury involving Pink Paw's eye, and even by using his saliva on the injured eye, it didn't work. So the only way for him to resolve the situation is to have Paw take them to the weave. Not to mention that it wasn't White Diamond that destroyed Pink, Pink Paw's eye, it was Pink Diamond. The main factor of the episode is that Pink Paw didn't move forward from Pink Diamond despite being terrible towards her. And since that Paw was with Pink Diamond during the whole colony and empire situation, this is a lot more difficult for them to actually move forward since they still idolize Pink Diamond to this day. Granted, Paul did try to move forward, but at the same time, for how she confronted Volleyball, she really wants to think of the good times, even though she was still in a toxic relationship with Pink Diamond. Believe me, every time I think about the two paws in this episode, mainly the main character and Pink Paw, it really gave me the impression that for how they were born and how they operate as different types of gems, it's just difficult for them to mostly take them seriously when we see them in a position on understanding what they did in the past, all the while not like going of the past. And when it comes to Steven, this is the first time where we see his outburst and his pink powers coming into play, mainly him glowing pink. And I really feel like for his outbursts, people have stated that it's out of character for him and he should have never done that in the first place. But the way I see it, it kind of shows that he's trying to distance, distance himself from Pink Diamond, even though that she is also her mom, since that in the last episode, she on he only put the, the picture of Rose inside of Lion's Mane. And judging of how that he's just trying to figure out a solution to help out Volleyball and the fact that he can't, while Volleyball is bringing up the information involving Pink Diamond's outburst, which leads to powers of her own, I'm gonna be real with you, even though I've said that too many times. But the truth is, characters or people in the real world get furious over things that take time for them to unleash their anger. And when it comes to Steven in this, he has become more furious about Pink Diamond despite being mostly part of her mom Wall's courts. And with this being the only episode where Pink Paul gets the spotlight, all the while being in the fusion with Paul, I really feel like that she was in so much in denial to the point that she always views Pink Diamond as the true idolizer, and the fact that this leads to Steven's outpost, believe me, if a different character 
who had less knowledge of Pink Diamond wouldn't also dissolve to be to get outburst or lashed out by Steven. But mainly if it's new to them. And when it comes to Pink Paul, well, the Pink Diamond thing isn't new to her and the fact that she idolized her so much. It's just difficult to go against Steven considering that Pink Diamond has be has gained on his nerves so much that he isn't going to be happy forever. And with the outburst that he caused along with the crisis inside of the Weef, this leads to the fusion of Paul and Pink Paul into Mega Paul. If it wasn't for Paul talking to Pink Paul about what she feels about Pink Diamond, this fusion wouldn't even happen, and it's honestly impressive of how much depth they put into this fusion. Like, when I first saw this fusion for the first time, it was amazing, but judging of how I looked into the character's development when it comes to Paul, Pink Paul, and even Steven's, this made me see the purpose of the qualities of Pink Diamond since the fusion became a thing involving Paul and Pink Paul. And believe me, if it wasn't for the dialogue that they had towards the end, I'm pretty sure it wouldn't make sense, considering I didn't understand what it meant when I first watched this episode. So, I really feel like that this episode was ahead of its time, and yet at the same time, we weren't at that period of time, knowing how the original series gave us a mixed taste in our mouths, mainly from the final season. Now granted, I did address about Pink Diamond's powers two days ago, and I'm going to establish them on how they're executed in this. So, I really feel like that this is foreshadowing of the powers that Steven gets later on, and I really feel like that despite him going a little OP, this episode really showed me that there was an example of Pink Diamond's powers that only Pink Paul knows while everyone else doesn't. Even though it may be difficult to believe, but then again, with so many elements that deserve more screen time, this involving Pink Diamond happened way too late. Which shouldn't be a positive, but considering of how rushed Season 5 was and there, and there wasn't a Season 6, this is honestly a, a makeup, similar to the makeups of this epilogue trying to do when it comes to characters like Pink Paul and the Beach City Citizens that we're going to be talking about soon. As in Sadie and Laws, just to be clear, I'm giving this episode an 8.5 out of 10. You.